I think I shall build a spaceship and explore Mars. Jolly good. Have a nice voyage. Today we depart. We need nothing except our courage. And perhaps a map.
That looks good enough. We can sort out the details on the way. It's locked. It's a fishing rod. It's just long enough to stir a pot of tea without leaving my armchair. I should probably put my fishing rod away before doing this. It's a mystery why anyone thought a tea chest needed such a secure lock. East India must have been a rough place. I put the power source out I put the power source outside, just in case it explodes again. My arms aren't long enough to reach that. It's an ornate key made out of cast iron. I should unlock the front door. I'm not leaving without my top hat. I'm not leaving without my top hat. A gentleman is always well dressed when facing certain death. I put the power source outside, just in case it explodes again.
It's my favorite top hat. I put the power source outside, just in case it explodes again. Astronomers and polymaths were yesterday astonished by the pronouncements of William Werewell from Milton. This freshly invented double lens telescope unveiled the deepest mysteries of the heavens and captured the very first view of the wildlife that inhabits the space above us. Glass plates show a vast emptiness punctuated by schools of tiny creatures. They flock and move, seeking escape from larger predators and yet unknown masters. Space explorers Sir Albert Wikes and Clarence Baxter have been tasked by the Royal Society of Chartered Explorers to attempt the capture of specimens during their next voyage. 